Oh, thank, thank you very much. That's a very friendly uh, welcome here. Um, and uh, thanks for um, like making this uh, uh, meetup here today possible, Justin. So um, I think I just like um, get right into the project. Um, and um, I will show you a bit what we do and, and tell you about the background first. Um, how we actually came to this project um, and uh, uh, where we are heading. So, uh, Susie, what's it about? Well, actually, it's not just a chatbot. Um, it is artificial intelligence for chatbots. And uh, um, the question is, what is artificial intelligence at first, right? Because everyone's like, wow, really, they're going to do that? Uh, and, um, yeah, we realized, actually, uh, there are a lot of different um, definitions for artificial intelligence out there. And uh, a simple one is, actually, that artificial intelligence can solve a problem. It will help you to solve a problem. So, uh, based on that, we think we are able to do that. And um, we thought a bit, like, okay, what are these... Uh, uh, projects are doing like uh, Siri, Google Allo, uh, here Cortana, and so on. What, what are they doing? Actually, a lot of the things that these projects are doing um, is uh, quite simple, I think. Like, uh, play a song from iTunes. It's actually just a search and an activity. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these things can be done with rules-based uh, um, uh, queries. Yeah. And um, that's uh, where we, uh, what, what we thought. But actually, what, what was the start, um, how we thought we do uh, SUSE AI? And um, I don't know how many of you have been to previous Force Asia meetups, but we had um, a, a project here that we introduced uh, um, previously, which was LockLock. And LockLock was our start uh, uh, into this area with LockLock, what we actually did is we collected um, tweets, or oh, we're still collecting it. So it's a it's an, um, service to collect tweets at the beginning, but you can collect a lot of uh, other things as well. And then what we do is we enrich uh, this tweet data with additional information. For example, sentiments, yeah, positive, negative, like there are different libraries av available, and um, you can uh, teach to have like more uh, sentiments out there. So with LockLock, we are able to collect large number of tweets because it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. And uh, yeah, everyone can install it. We also have like an uh, um, Android application. So uh, then what we see here, like let's make a query. With LockLock, type in something simple here. Plus Asia, how will the outcome look like? So it's a JSON. And this JSON has a lot of information. Uh, even sometimes geolocation information. Here, for example, place, country, United States. A lot of different information. You can use this information to provide answers to questions. So that was our first idea. We can actually use tweets to provide answers to people. And we have a lot of different tweets. Yeah? So um, that is... Uh, a bit the background here of Susie, and then the next step, what we did is um, uh, we integrated more services. So you can integrate uh, um, other social media engines, you can uh, integrate YouTube, you can uh, uh, use a lot of APIs. Uh, we even found undocumented APIs, for example, uh, of the Urban Dictionary. I don't know if anyone here is using the Urban Dictionary, um, who, who knows about it? Yeah. So the answers that you get are not always so safe, like let's say for kids. So right now we, we don't have that API inside. We're not using it. So you can, people try it out because uh, uh, we also wanted to showcase that on businesses and um, yeah, for businesses. So, so that's the thing. But actually it showed us that you can use a lot of sources. And uh, <clears throat> okay, so what you do when you build an um, AI, you need a lot of data. So uh, how can we get a lot of data? There are so many services out there. We can just like make use of them. And there are two ways to uh, um, uh, use these services. One way is we can build our own um, index, um, for example, of like uh, uh, search queries. Or oh, I don't know if that is correctly formulated, but like the thing is we collect the data from, from searches. Like here we, we build our own data database. 
and uh, then we can query that database. But another way is also to query services directly for, for instance. So we have uh, two ways here. And actually, we realized that um, it's quite pretty data intensive. So we spend several thousand dollars on servers uh, <laughs> per month. Yeah. So and uh, um, like, for example, we have one server running with eight uh, um, giga, is it no, eight terabyte, a terabyte, right, of, 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 of Twitter data. So it will give a lot of good answers, like a, a lot of um, uh, results. But um, actually, we realized for, for if we now compare with, with Siri, for example, we, we can do things much easier. Like a, lo a lot of what people do with Siri is, is just simple. It's not actually in, in like advanced definitions of AI, it wouldn't be real like something complicated. Yeah, like like play a song or do, uh, tell me the time or like uh, show me the way uh, to go somewhere, things like that. So for that we can actually query um, uh, um, like existing services. So that's what we're doing um, at the moment. So let me maybe show show you um, some slides. Slides are not always the most interesting, but. Why not a little bit? So, well, actually, what does Suzy stand for? Um, <coughs> no? Google? Okay, maybe not. So, it stands for Social Universal Super Intelligence. Yeah. Okay, and what, uh, what, can, it, uh, what can it do here? A few um, ideas. Um, um, so, so, our goal is to build an AI that is even better than Cortana, that is better than uh, um, Alexa. How can we do that? I mean, for example, how can we build something better than Allo? Uh, how many engineers does Google have working on that? 500? 1,000? I, I don't know, but like, uh, how, so how can we be better? So our idea is to build a service um, that uses the, the principle of Wikipedia, where people can contribute in a way uh, like uh, w Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia, I mean, the, the uh, Britannica, it was, it was a huge thing. It was like the encyc encyclopedia. Uh, but today, I don't know, who has the Britannica at home? No. Okay, nobody in this room? Okay, but it used to be really like the thing, right? And, and then Wikipedia came. So, so um, our idea is this. So we, I, I, I talked to you about this. So we, we need, in order to build an AI, 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 we need a lot of data. We need a lot of services. So the services, there are so many, I don't know. I don't know what services are, are out there in Korea, for example. Yeah? I don't know uh, what is out there in Mongolia. But we want to build an AI that can answer questions um, everywhere in the world. So we need uh, people to be able to plug in their services. So we call them console services, right? And for that, we want the wiki principle. But even like we can go a, a level uh, uh, easier and say, like, uh, what else can we do? We have simple questions and answers. So if we have an AI, everyone thinks about machine learning these days. Um, but you can already like answer a lot of questions, play me a song from iTunes, there are not so many different answers. The ac action is play a song from iTunes and then perform the search. That's actually a, a simple rule. So already we could do a lot of things with simple rules. People can contribute rules. So now imagine an interface where you can uh, uh, contribute a rule in nine steps to an AI. Yeah. So that is possible. That is possible, and that's uh, uh, what we are doing. So we don't have the interface yet, <laughs> but uh, we have the back end and the way how to do that. So the interface is just like the next step. So we call that interface EZD, AI Rule Development Tutorial. It's just like, I think he just updated that an hour ago. So it's really like here, what we're doing is really like nearly live. 
Um, here's a tutorial how you can contribute to SUSE. How can you uh, add easy, write easy dialogue? I don't know, easy D. It's like German people have these ideas to come up with. <laughs> like some words like that or some short forms. Easy D, conversation rules. So I think we don't have enough time to go here into detail how to do that, but the next step is we will build a simple UI where you can actually, where, where students or even kids, we're running this with Force Asia, we're running this uh, uh, code in contest, yeah, with, with, with Google, but we're also running own contests like Codeit and other things. Um, and like we have hundreds of people, we have even like sometimes thousands of people contributing, yeah, and they can do a small thing, like one rule, one improvement, like in Wikipedia, they could do that. And uh, so we already have the tutorial how you can do that in uh, nine different steps. And uh, so if you come to Force Asia, I think we will have more time there to show you in detail how to do that. But I want uh, to, uh, to point uh, you to this already. So I think there will be lots of questions like, okay, so you have a rule-based system, it's like, okay, then you only get one answer. And, and, but actually, no, you can have different answers. And it's also uh, possible to uh, implement that here with this uh, system. You can have vari variables, um, you can have uh, a star, I bet you like uh, this beer brand, beer, yeah, okay. <laughs> People are always about beer. Uh, um, I think we can go uh, um, uh, into detail also after the meeting if you're interested. So how much time, how much more time do I have left? You have about five minutes. Five more minutes, okay. Good, so, and um, so where do people communicate? They, they, they use the mobile phone, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how, how many people here are developers, actually, yeah. Okay, so I don't know, is it half maybe? So, and uh, how, how many people have a laptop with them? How many people have a laptop with them? So it looks like I should have asked the other thing, how many people have a mobile phone? Because laptop, it looks like, uh, uh, like it's not even half. But how, how many people have a mobile phone with them, right? Everyone, right? So, so we want, of course, an Android app, yeah? So the Android app uh, uh, project that is actually just started as a side project because for us it's just the interface. We want to see that the logic works. Um, but uh, we get a lot of people from all over the world. They're contributing to it and, and yeah, it's working. So if you want to try out, because I'm not showing it live here to you, if you want to try it out, you can just go to our GitHub repository and you can download it there. We have an APK branch, so on every commit, the, the Android app is built automatically. So if it doesn't work, maybe wait one hour and it will work. We have like several commits a day and, and you can try it out. So it's basically like a, a chat interface where you can um, see Suzy, I think I had a Thing is, okay, yeah, here for example, who am I? You, you am no one, too bad, you always like I knew, okay? So yeah, it's not perfect, but, uh, but it works. You can ask all kinds of questions, and especially we always, uh, like uh, my partner Michael, he always likes these questions about um, the universe, yeah? I mean, like, uh, the universe and nothing. Yeah, a lot of people, like, uh, post this on, on YouTube and so on. What does Siri answer to some kind of uh, random question? So we have an Android app here uh, that can do that. But I, I want to tell you, it's a software project at the moment. It's not a service. So, so, like, one hour it might work, the next hour it might not work. So we haven't deployed this as a service yet. It's on a heavy development, right? But we also have, like, a, a web app that we are trying out at the moment. Um, yeah, so the web app is here. Um, yeah, and, and just now the map box uh, uh, key uh, uh, expired. So we put up a new one, but like uh, uh, it's not deployed yet. It's, it's, a, it's a GitHub pages. We love like not to run service. So, so we run the back end somewhere but the front end uh, on, on GitHub pages, 
right? No need to deploy. Yeah, okay, so uh, tell me a question. Let's see what Susie answers. So give me a question. Martin, you have a question? Do you like cats? Do you like cats? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like cats? Okay. Yes, I love them. Cats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Let's see if Susie comes up with. Yeah? Uh, how big is the universe? How big is the universe? Okay. <laughs> how big is the universe? Okay. Bigger than a pin. <laughs> Sun. Okay. Is that wrong? Yeah, okay. Who is more handsome, George Clooney or Brad Pitt? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. How to write George Clooney? Clue? Like this? Yeah. Is it? Double O. Double O. Double O. Double O. Double O. Pete. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> 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 like it would have been similar to my answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, very good question. So where is it uh, getting the data source from? So we have um, uh, currently implemented, I think, like eight different data sources. Um, uh, Wikipedia, um, like also Wikidata, yeah? And uh, uh, Twitter, for example. Sometimes we have uh, hard-coded something, but uh, like with several answers in the rule-based system, yeah. How easy it is to add a new data source, let's say like Wikileaks? Uh, yeah, new data source, um, you could add it maybe like uh, with your level, uh, um, yeah, it depends on develop, like what level you have, but I, I think you could add it in one to two days. Okay, so, yeah? so there's still a, a bit of coding that needs to be done in order yeah. to process the uh, uh, scrape through the uh, data source, is that right? Um, ex exactly, so the scrape through, uh, well, there are two different ways to do it. So one way is uh, we scrape the data source and we store the data ourselves. The other way is we actually use the, just use API or, for example, the search page and we query live on the data source. So, yeah, these, these two options are there. So, of course, like if you uh, uh, store all the information yourself, you need a bigger server. At the moment, we don't have the resources. We're already, like, with Twitter, we're already done. Yeah? So we, we, we rather try to implement um, APIs. And, but the next thing is that you actually need to code the questions and answers. So if you use WikiLeaks, you, you need a relevant question in order to get a, a relevant answer, right? But like imagine you have like uh, the amount, the, the number of volunteers that Wikipedia has, then you can do a lot, right? Okay, but like, so what we understand here that we have a rules-based system. And now where does the AI come in? Yeah, because now the people say, okay, it's AI. So, of course, you can think that uh, we can use AI uh, for a lot of different things. I, I can give you a simple example. Um, Susie will take, a, um, like, accounting. They will uh, uh, take, uh, Susie will take into account what the user already interacted with Susie. Yeah, so you can then say, um, okay, uh, um, Oh, let, 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 let me give this example. I'm in Singapore, and maybe the weather service of Singapore is more relevant to me than the weather service from the US. Susie will be able to analyze that. Um, in order to, to achieve a lot, of course, like we need feedback loops, for example. So um, we could have like some, something like a teaching mode for Susie. So where, um, like, switch on the teaching mode, teach Susie something. And uh, Susie gives you, for example, three different answers from f three different sources. And you say to Susie, okay, this answer is correct. So if 10,000 people do that, we really have very good data, what is correct, what is not correct. Yeah? And uh, um, you could even then think, okay, something like what happened to, to, to Microsoft, this uh, Twitter bot, right, like that people teach Susie something bad. So you could establish a different layer, like let's say an admin layer um, of uh, um, very active users who say, okay, I confirm this. 
yeah, or registered users. You could like say, and you could even switch in the app, like let's say um, I want all the answers of everyone, or I only want the answers of registered users, so like answers that are confirmed, right? And um, all these kind of information can be collected back and then um, help us to, um, to give even better answers in the future. Right? So that's where then machine learning comes in. I don't know if that is like a too short wrap up of the whole thing. Um, I see some people say yes, some look a bit puzzled, um, but uh, maybe we can go also with other talks uh, then in the future into more detail. Yeah? Okay. A Susan then from Music History? Yeah, exactly. So this we didn't uh, implement it yet in. Like, we have something of it implemented, but not everything yet. So, because uh, um, Michael comes very much from a free software background, and so he doesn't like the logins, but I, I say, okay, but we need the logins, right? We, in order, like, so I have another phone or something, so, so we need a login that Susie can actually, uh, Susie can actually uh, get the, um, the data from, from the past. Yeah, it can already now if you interact, if you say, uh, my, like if Su uh, Susie can also not just answer questions, Susie can talk with you. So for example, uh, like let's think of a um, shopping bot. Uh, you say, I want shoes, Susie will ask you back what color. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can set this up. So, uh, and, and it will remember then what color you, you wanted. Or you say, hi, my name is Mario and Susie will remember my name is Mario and I say I want shoes and next time you talk to Susie if you use the same IP at the moment yeah the same phone and so on it will already understand but I say like people change their IP so yeah so we need uh, we need a login and uh, one idea then of course like you all will have a lot of ideas is that we could uh, for example use the history on Facebook and all these things right um, to 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 get more data but like then it's also the question how much data we really need because some, at some point maybe the more data you have about personal life, the, like yeah, it could be difficult to understand what is relevant. Yeah, but, but these areas where we are like really excited about, I think the big difference to the, to the corporate uh, uh, world is that we are planning um, and we have taken the first steps here. Uh, we, are, we, are, we want a system um, that can take user contributions on a big scale yeah. that uses the Wikipedia principle for AI. So it will not be just a simple chatbot, it will actually really be um, AI. Yeah. And uh, at Force Asia, we will be going um, into more details um, about what we are doing here. You have very soothing, soothing thoughts, ideas about the Susie mind. Yeah. I mean, sometimes Susie is answering something and uh, I'm like thinking, wow, yeah? Where, where does it come from? And uh, the amazing thing is like, uh, it's not like making a, a simple web interface for something. You sometimes you don't know where it comes from. You really have to look. So, so it's, it's pretty amazing what we can do um, with this. So yeah, but um, so there's a lot of detail to it. And um, yeah, we are, we're happy. We would be happy to, to, to get people on board. So what's a call, for, call, call to action? Call to action is uh, um, check out our GitHub repository, see where you can um, join, install the project. Um, at the moment, our challenge is that the people we work together with are getting hired very fast, and uh, they uh, get like very <laughs> good job offers. <laughs> so, so this is a challenge. Right. So, so actually, we are we are uh, we have a, a also like a startup with this, where we say, okay, so this project needs to have a, a resources to to continue. Yeah. But we are dedicated to open source, and um, we are dedicated to uh, free software. Uh, like the practical part for me, like uh, I don't care so much if it's free or open source, you know, whatever they call it, the practical thing, because like people contribute if they can use it themselves. I also see like. Um, uh, opportunities like for everyone who, who wants to use it. Um, right now we're talking to Siemens. They have in their um, uh, data centers computers that are not connected with the internet. They don't want to connect these with the internet. Um, but for example, they want people to be able to call uh, um, the computer by phone and, and talk to the computer. So, yeah. so let's say uh, uh, you, you, you don't believe how many people sit in, in, in one Siemens office and just 
uh, take care of alarm management systems of buildings around the world. You're in Brazil, your alarm management goes on, uh, um, then somebody takes the phone and calls, and it's an office in Germany with like 50 people sitting there. So you could, they have this, uh, they have applications for this in their data center that are not connected uh, to the internet. Just a quick question, have you already integrated with some speech to text and text to speech engines? Yeah, so, so this is always a big question if we are doing this also. So we, we are not uh, focusing on this at the moment. So uh, for, for internal applications, there are um, open source projects like uh, Pocket Sphinx. If it's on the internet and we're using Android, you can just use uh, um, what, what uh, Google is using. Um, I also have a friend at Mozilla who is uh, there working on this. So um, yeah, we can just simply integrate. It's just an interface for us, right? Yeah. So on, on, if you download the Android app, you, you can already uh, uh, talk to Suzy. Yeah, but sometimes a bit slow, but yeah. But it's not a service, as I said, it's a software project right now, and we're looking uh, um, like also how to commercialize it. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. A round of applause thank for you. Mario. Uh, if you, you want to find out, if you want to find out more information about uh, uh, Suzy, uh, Mario, could you post uh, in the meetup group? Yes, yeah. Sure. yeah. Uh, some of the links that you guys will have. Um, in the meantime, uh, the next speaker, Lee 